Okay, declining uh, balance and uh, double declining balance. When we are the, uh, going over declining balance uh, or double declining balance, we have uh, some uh, formulas we have to use. And it apply, those formulas, they apply for uh, any of these. So whether it's declining balance, DB, or double declining balance, which is, we call it DDB depreciation, we can use this formula and we can use this formula. As a matter of fact, this formula is derived from this one. We are going to see in a bit. Uh, the only thing here, and let me remind you about a couple terminologies, if you missed them in previous session. This is a depreciation at a certain time. T, T is always uh, a factor that is based on time. Could be year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Okay? Uh, it is opposite to N. N, okay, N is the total uh, interval of the whole depreciation uh, time. So it is fixed, okay? N is fixed here. T, no, it's not fixed. I want depreciation at year one. So you, can, you tell me, hey, get D1. N, no. N is the interval, the total interval of the depreciation. So let's say n is 5, it could be that n is 5 and t is 1. n is 5 and t is a 3. That means I need depreciation at year uh, three, uh, 3. n is 5 and uh, d is at year 4. That means get me depreciation d, uh, d4. Okay, just keep that in mind, please. It is like the straight line depreciation. If you pay attention to the straight line depreciation, uh, we said uh, in our uh, previous example, we said, hey, we have a $20,000 first cost, which we called it B. This is a quick review. Okay, this is B. It's independent of T. And salvage value is the salvage value after the life of the total depreciation. So also this is independent of T. Okay, so this is after N period. And this is in the, in the, it's the first cost, okay? So uh, what's changing is T. T is a changing. T1, T3, T4. So here I'm, I need depreciation at year, uh, at year T equal, equal 3. If you look at this equation, B is constant. S is always 5,000. Has nothing to do with T, okay? N is the total uh, years. How many years I need it after five years? Okay, so the total depreciation is five years, but I, okay, requested the uh, to find the depreciation at year number three. So n is not a three. N is what is five. Okay, this is only changing. Okay, and that's why we said in straight line depreciation. D is, uh, is like the slope of uh, this uh, uh, straight line. Um, and we said it is constant. Whether it's D3, D4, D5, it's the same amount. Why? Because it's in, it is independent of T. Okay? And we had this formula for it. You know, this is for a straight line formula. BV3 equal B minus T DT. Okay? In the, in the declining balance depreciation or a double declining balance depre, uh, depreciation, DB uh, or DDB, it's a totally different story, okay? We are not using N straightforward in our equation. We are using, instead of N, we are using rate of depreciation, which we call it what? D, small d, okay? Small d uh, for uh, this is a uh, you know uh, you know good to take a look at it small d here okay uh, depends on n so indirectly we are depending on n but indirectly not straightforward so if I take a look at uh, those okay let's take the db okay db usually when I want to find the rate of depreciation of db you know it should always be less uh, than uh, you know the uh, less or equal to 2 divided by n so how i'm gonna find that 
okay, this is, uh, this is pretty easy because in declining balance, okay, D is equal to, uh, should equal to uh, D, small D, uh, should equal to uh, the percentage. Give me the percentage, okay? I can give you, give me the percentage and N, I can give you the rate of depreciation. So let's say the depreciation is 150 uh, percent, then you're gonna tell me, and N is five, then D equal 1.5 uh, divided by five. So, in, okay, and we're gonna see an example of that. While in the double declining, uh, in the double declining, in the double declining, it's a different story. In double declining, what do we have? In double declining, always uh, the the rate of depreciation, okay, is what is two divided by n. It's two divided by n. Here we go. Okay. While here, no. Give me the percentage in uh, declining balance. Give me the percentage, and then I will divide it by uh, n. For double declining, no, it is a different story. Okay, it's it is always two divided by n. Okay, this is that. Keep it in mind. What kind of equations we use? Okay, whether it is declining balance, as I said, or double declining, it's the same formula. Okay, so we have basically two formulas. The first formula. Okay, back to our story here. Whether it is uh, declining or double declining, we have a formula, two formulas. You can see them. Uh, this is the first one, okay? And this is the second one. We put them in, in the slides, uh, you know, under two, but basically they, okay? The first one here, if you want a depreciation at year, let's say T, it is the rate of depreciation multiplied by the initial cost, and then you have this, uh, uh, you know, simple format, one minus uh, the rate, and divided by the previous year. So if this is five, year five, here it will be year four. Six, this will be five, okay? So it's the, uh, one minus D to the power T minus one. Okay, if let's say I don't have, uh, if I, let's say I have the previous book value, can I get uh, the current, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, a certain year of depreciation? Yes. How? If you need uh, depreciation, depreciation at five, year five, all what you have to give me, give me the rate of depreciation and the book value of the previous year. Okay, that will do it. If not, you don't have the previous year, what do I have to do? The book value of previous year. Then I have to use the other formula here. The depreciation at year five will be rate of depreciation, book uh, the initial cost, which we call it B, okay? Not BV, it is B, okay? One minus D to the power T minus one. So I have two choices to get my depreciation. And uh, another way to do it, uh, to get the uh, book value, we have another way, and it is derived from this, basically. Okay? It's derived from this formula. Because as uh, you can see here, guys, uh, we said uh, this is our formula. Okay, good. Let's take a look at it one more time. Okay, this is our depreciation formula. Okay? Keep those aside. From this, can I get the book value? Remove this. I'm telling you, this one here equals this one here. If D is not zero, we can divide by D. So you can eliminate D and you can eliminate D. So what do I get? I get the book value at a year is equal to this one here. And this is here we derived another formula. So this is now considered T. Therefore, this should be T. Okay? And that's what they gave us. They gave us this nice formula here. You can see it. Here we go. Okay. So what's the, the book value? It is the B. Uh, I'm sorry here. I missed, I missed something. You just be careful. Oh, okay. I took care of it. Okay. So it is a book value B1 minus D2 
to the power t. So two equations, one to get the depreciation and the other one to get the book value. Now let's apply that. Uh, the question is telling us, hey, we have an equipment, okay, uh, here we have a truck. This, this truck, because it's not a, a natural resource and it is not a land, okay, or a real estate, then it's going to depreciate. So I need to get the depreciation of this truck after how many years they told us. I need the to get the depreciation value of that truck after three years. So I need to get what? I need to get D3. Good. Uh, what is N? What's B? You know, based on my formula, I have to do the following. Okay, I need all these. Okay, so what is N? What is, uh, let's say, what's D? If I need to get D, I have to use the one of these, this one or this one. So I have to ask myself, what kind of depreciation, you know, this going through? They are telling me it is DDB, double declining balance. If that's the case, okay, then what do we say? We say, hey, if the rate of depreciation, okay, it is 2 divided by N, which is 5 here. N is 5. We said 5. Uh, uh, why? Because this is the total interval of depreciation is not related to a certain year, okay? The depreciation they want it, they want it at year three, but N is not related to your uh, specific year. It is the total interval of the depreciation. So please keep that in mind. So they solve for uh, D, okay? We get the depreciation, rate of depreciation. Then we have, we give, they gave us 20 is given. This is B, okay? So this is B here. Now I have D, small d. I have B, 20,000. Selvage value, we don't need it here. You can see it, you know, we don't need it. Okay, uh, one is constant. D is already, I already got it, two divided by five. Okay, this is year, uh, what, year three. T is a three. So therefore, T minus one will be what? Two. So you solve for it, you are all set. Here we got the depreciation at year three. And the trick was only how to get the rate of depreciation. We said because it is double declining a balance, the rate of depreciation is always double, okay, of one divided by n. So it's always 2 divided by n. Uh, so that will give us small d. And also a smaller trick, t is a 3, okay? But n is not a 3 because we are solving for, because we are, because we are solving for t equal 3 does not mean n is equal 3, okay? n has to do with the total interval of depreciation. Can we get the book value? For sure we can get the book value. The book value at 3, we go back to the formula. This is, uh, you know, our formula. Book value at a certain time is the initial cost multiplied by 1 minus d to the power t. Here we go. So t is a 3. So therefore, I will have b, 20,000, 1 minus 2 divided by n, which is 0.4 and to the power also t, which is 3. I'm all set. So this is the way we solve for double declining. If it were to be uh, not double declining, if it were to be uh, uh, the other one, which is declining balance, db, then we are going to solve it the same way, except for calculating the value of rate of depreciation. So give me the percentage. I can get what? D. So if the depreciation is 150 more than regular straight line depreciation, what's the straight line depreciation? Straight line depreciation is, um, you know, it is, let's say, 1 divided by N. So here we are going to be having 
150% divided by n, which is 5. And I'll continue on solving the same scenario. Keep in mind depreciation, whether it's straight line or any other depreciation, should not exceed the salvage value. Okay. Uh, if I have the book value and I have the depreciation, uh, 3 and book value at year 3, I'm all set. Now, uh, based on my formula here, guys, can I get the depreciation at year 4? Yeah, it will be easy. Why? Here we go. Oh, my God. Okay, let me repeat this again. Okay, it's telling me if this is 4, I can get this from the previous book value. Do I have the previous book value? Yes. Do I have the depreciation? Yes. So this is will be ha giving me the previous book value plus the uh, rate of uh, depreciation will make it easier on me to find what the next year or the year after of depreciation, as I'm doing it here, okay? D4 will be the previous book value, multiply it by depreciation. That's it for double declining balance depreciation and declining balance depreciation.